Hello everyone. Today we will talk about the second part of the random number library in C++11, the random number distribution. Last time we have talked about how to use random engine to generate random values. This shows the classical way of creating a random engine with a seed and then use the engine to generate numbers. But the problem with this is it only generate random values in the range of e dot min to e dot max. What if I want to generate a value in the range of 0 to 5? How can I do that? For veteran C and C++ programmer, the answer is pretty obvious. I can do e modular 6. This will give me a random number in between 0 and 5. We have been doing this all the time. But this approach has some problems. First of all, functor e can generate numbers that is pretty random in the range of e.min and e.max. But once you modular that number with 6, the resulted number is not so random. So this will give you bad quality of randomness. And secondly, this approach can only provide uniform distribution. So if you want the generated number to be evenly distributed from 0 to 5, then you can get it. But if you want some fancier distribution, like normal distribution, where I want the values to be more distributed at 2 and 3, and less distributed on 0 and 5, then there's no easy way to get that. This is why we need the library of distribution. And to achieve the same goal with distribution, what I can do is standard uniform distribution with int dist 0 5. This will generate random numbers in the range of 0 and 5. Note that both 0 and 5 are included in the range. This is kind of unusual in C++, because most of the time a range is specified with half-open notation, where the first number is included and the last number is not included. So this is a special case. And to generate a random number, I can do dist e and line. So the random engine E provides a source of randomness, and the distribution dist provides a way to distribute the random number within a certain range, and also with certain probability. So this is generating a random integer value. I can also do the same thing to generate a real value, uniform real distribution. Let's call it distr, distr, then. And the integer needs to be changed to double or float. And the range is slightly different from the integer distribution. It uses the conventional half open notation. So 0 is included, but 5 is not included. So this will generate a real number distribution from 0 to 5. And let's have another example. I'm creating Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution takes one parameter, which is the mean. Let's, call, let's use 1.0. This is the mean. And let's call it district P. And then district P. And lastly, let's do something more interesting. I create a 
normal distribution, distri n, normal distribution takes two parameters. The first one is the mean, and the second one is the standard deviation. And then I create a vector of the size of 20. And then I have a loop for i equal to 0 to 800. For each loop, I generate a random number with the normal distribution. The normal distribution generates a double, and I convert that number into an integer, num. And if the num is within the range of 0 to 20, I use v to record the number of times that this number has appeared. So v10 records the number of times that 10 has appeared during the loop. And finally, I represent the values in the vector v with number of stars and print it out to the standard out. So if vi equal to 20, then 20 stars will be printed out. And let's run the program. As you see, it prints out a very beautiful normal distribution waveform. And if I change the standard deviation to 6 instead of 3, and run the program again, and the waveform is more spread out to both sides. The standard library provides a bunch of different distributions. We have talked about uniform distribution, Poisson distribution, normal distribution. So anytime you need a special kind of distribution, just come here and look it up. This is a screenshot from C++.com. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.